When you see a one, no, everything a one. You get the money in the station, everything a one. When you see a one, everything a one. You can free and a one. Everything a one. You get the money in the station, everything a one. I don't know what I'm going to be about when you leave your station, can't this way. That's why I'm going to be in the station, I'm free. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the FMS station. Greetings, blessed love. Ok, avec nous ce soir, Cathy qui va traduire pour les gens qui ne comprennent pas l'anglais, qui ne parlent pas trop bien l'anglais, comme moi. <rire> Donc je vais poser des questions et ensuite euh, Cathy euh, traduira. Tu peux expliquer à History Man pour que je comprenne le principe Yes, so she's going to ask a question in French. I'm going to translate to you. Yes, sir. Ok, donc euh, on va commencer. Euh, donc bienvenue History Man à la radio de Toulouse. Welcome History Man to Toulouse uh, FM radio station. Give thanks, it's more a pleasure for me being here. Yes. En plus, on est d'autant plus heureuse de te recevoir. Tu es la voix d'ouverture de l'émission chaque vendredi soir. Yeah, so they are happy to have you here tonight because you are the open voice of the session every two Friday. Yes. They start with you, of your children. Yes. Yes, it's more a pleasure for me to be here. No, man. So we give thanks. You know, say yeah. This German song really ain't us. The whole of our disease. So we say give thanks. We can pray and not for that. Yes. Okay. So we're going to start with a presentation. Is he going to present and explain his story, where he comes from? So can you present yourselves? What you do? Where you come from? Where you started the music? Yeah. Well, you know. So this is one of the world chronologists, archaeologists, anthropologists. The informative is a musicologist. I'm not a philanthropist, but what I did is a pure philanthropy. Yeah, well, then we say music are from mama and papa time, you know. It starts back way back from the womb, you know, from the heartbeat. Yeah, well, the manifestation, we start with the mic from the age of nine. We know the first original song was 1992, a song called I Cry, What Do I Cry? Water from here, like a rain from sky. You know what I mean? So, from there, so we take it to the next level and we just continue to do what we have to do, you know. Music is really a thing that choose we, you know what I mean? Sometimes we really hunt and choose it. Music does choose how to work with music. Okay. Donc uh, voilà, il a commencé uh, dès l'âge de 9 ans, dans son système. Oui. Que sa première chanson, I cry, why do I cry, do you cry? Why do I cry? Why do I cry? Was uh, in... 1992. Uh, ok. Et en gros, quoi, parce que comme il parle vite, j'ai pas le temps de tout retenir. La musique, voilà, ils sont dedans, c'est tout. D'accord. Et peut-être il peut nous dire ses sources d'inspiration, avec qui il travaille en Jamaïque, comment ça se passe. So, if you work in Jamaica, what are your inspirations? Yeah, well, over the years we work with many, many people, you know, many different students. We work at Puff Gang Recording Studio, we work at Anka Recording Studio, we work at Cell Black, we work at Chris Murdoch, we work at Studio Mix, we work in New York with Jalife, you know what I mean? We work with a whole lot of people. But you know, this particular album, which is called Chronology Volume 1, is really instrument of the producer, instrument of the writer, instrument of the performer. You know what I mean? This labor number nine is really instrument labor that was established in 1995. You know what I mean? So right now, this is really instrument production at the moment. We're working now on chronology volume two and on another album called Aya Heights with some bridging from out of Canada. A bridging named Satnam, who is really the big man. Well, just release uh, an album, a compilation with people like Richie Spice, Snatcher Dogs, Panapana, Glenn Washington, L.A. Lalibella, you know, a, a sister in Carl, uh, oh, I don't forget her name, Jasmine, yeah, 
nice singer from out of Canada, an ex Virgin called Chili Roots. You know what I mean? So we have something I go on from Canada side, so right now we just want to go over there to see it up in our mind. So the work I go on and chant it. Il peut peut-être nous dire pourquoi il s'appelle History Man. So why do you call yourself informative historian? Oh, it's not me calling myself History Man. It's the people calling me History Man. Um, back in about '93, in Jamaica there is a talent show called Tasty's Talent Competition where many of the artists before venture through the avenue. The people like Eloman. Being man, Papa Sun, Brian Anthony Gould, Nadine Sutherland, Sophia Fisher. I will be artists venture through that. Uh, this is talent competition started in Jamaica back in 1979. You know what I mean? So I venture through the avenue there and I did a song that's called Jamaica History. So it's out of that the name History Man really, born. You know, and then I had a virgin who named Janiceness, he's a singer. He's in America on some tour right now. One of the time we had the student I do some work. I was working on a track um, for Jamaica Aid Support. For the amount of information within the one song, he said, you know, you should be called informative instrument other than just instrument. So it's so the name really come about, you know. And then we just don't only hold all the name and not play the game, we both play the game and hold the name. So we just focus on history. As you know, history is really the blueprint, you know what I mean? And I always said there is so much men back here books and pamphlets, words of lies. So it's nice when someone can take the initiative to really make some correction and clarification, you know what I mean? So we just choose a part really because everyone have a work to do. So this is my work for me choose to do. You know what I mean? So I think that's on lui a donné ce surnom, ouais. voilà, c'est les gens, on voilà. va. Ouais. Et suite à, à euh, tous les ans, il y a des, des, des compétitions, tout ça. Donc, euh, par rapport à une chanson qu'il a faite, euh, Jamaica History, voilà, c'est un peu venu de là aussi. Euh, ça, c'est qu'il faut tout ça écrire, parce que. Euh, oui, il dit beaucoup de choses, et puis voilà. Euh, c'est pas évident à tout traduire de mon Oui, oui. Donc je dis, bah, en gros, même, je oui, dis bien en sûr. Gros, le, le, voilà. De toute façon, après aussi, les auditeurs ah. pourront retrouver l'interview sur les différents MySpace. Okay. Donc là, c'est une vibe qu'on fait passer déjà. Donc aussi, euh, moi, j'ai envie de lui poser une question. Il y a Ulysses Bolt, <rire> le coureur jamaïcain. Il vient de. À, à Paris, il a fait 979. Oui. <rire> il va pouvoir battre le record à Berlin. Est-ce qu'il a rencontré Comment il vit ça lui en Jamaïque mm -hmm. So, about Lucien Bolt. Uh, did you meet him in Jamaica? Yes. Oh, yes. And how you, you, you feel the vibes about Lucien Bolt being a Jamaican young athlete? Yes. What you feel? Well, it's a great, it's a great vibe. It's a great vibe because I mean, you know, if you say Jamaica is such a small place and at the same time such a big place, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It is a great job if you know that Jamaicans could have really go out and put back Jamaica on the map because Jamaica has been on the map for so many times, you know what I mean? Ganja put Jamaica on the map, reggae music put Jamaica on the map, Bob Marley take it to the next level, Marcus Gavi put it on the next level, you know? So everyone come and just add a little thing to it. So we say we give thanks to Yusin Bolt and we say yeah, Jamaica really produce the fastest man at this time, you know? We give thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oui, voilà, bon, ils sont très très heureux en Jamaïque.